Hello, my name is Marcus Latell, and I'm the Molding Industry Business Advisor here at Angle Machinery. Are you looking to produce a plastic component? Maybe it's something simple like this, or something more complex, such as this engineered gear component, or maybe it's an elastomer, such as this component here. Maybe it's something more familiar to all of us, such as this two component toothbrush handle or even a large container, such as this example, made from recycled material. Regardless of what you're looking to produce, there are certain requirements that we must consider when it comes to injection molding and what your experience level is. Many are new to injection molding. We think of two different scenarios when we consider those that are new to injection molding. The first one is those that need to start completely new. They don't have the infrastructure or the resources to be able to produce parts at the current time. The second scenario are those that already have manufacturing. They're producing parts that aren't made of injection molded plastic. So in those two scenarios, we need to consider what size machine we're going to need and what the requirements are. At the heart of that process, of course, is the injection molding machine. Let's go take a look at one. Here's the injection molding machine. I have put together some basic suggestions that are very helpful in getting the right machine size for budgeting, planning, and soon after that producing plastic parts. Some details that would be very helpful in getting started are number one, general part description. Pictures are often helpful as well. Two, the part dimensions, the length, the width, the height, the part weight. If you can provide a two-dimensional drawing, that's excellent. We can also use 3D engineering files as well. Three, the part weight or cubic volume of the part. Cubic volume is usually best since materials vary in density and it helps us to determine the right injection size. The type of material to be molded is obviously very important, but it's okay if you're not quite sure what that material is yet. We can be helpful in finding material providers and suggestions for the material that you can use. An annual volume estimate, how many parts you'll produce per year, is also helpful in determining what size machine you need and also the scalability of the machine for future production. The sixth point is the mold. If you have a mold, much like this one here, already in existence, that's perfect. We'll take the characteristics of that mold and we'll be able to determine the right machine size to produce the parts with your existing mold. If you don't have a mold, that's okay too. We can help you determine where the best place to get that mold made and the characteristics of that mold, how many cavities it should produce per cycle. Items such as this are very important in planning to get the right size injection molding machine to produce your parts. Of course, there are many details to consider, but this short overview will get you started down the road to successfully producing your plastic parts. I would welcome a discussion with you regarding your project. Please give me a call.